Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to take a look at this Chinese Pudao as well as some of the other new weapons we just added to the KarateMart.com website. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So, as usual, I had Amanda go back into the warehouse and she grabbed some of our newest and most unique items for me to review. She's already packaged them up for me, so I don't know what they are. That way I can give a good and fair and honest review of each product. But just so you know, there's actually links to all the products in the description for this video. And I'm going to put a poll in the community tab so you can vote for which product you like best. That way I'll know what type of products you guys actually want to see more of. All right, without further ado, Amanda, what's the first item? There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, cool, cool. Okay, so this is called the Compact Brass Spiked Knuckles. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, these are neat. <laughs> I, I like these. All right, let's show this off for the camera. That's pretty cool. I mean, look how glossy that looks. That looks awesome. Okay, so first off, as far as comfort goes, super comfortable. I like that a lot. If we hold them like kind of crambit style, you can do a really nice hammer strike with these. So you can punch, you can do a hammer strike. I actually really like these. I think they're super comfortable and they look just awesome. This is actually solid brass here. They look really, really nice. So let's see. These things weigh just over five ounces. So that's a really nice weight for these. And it's approximately six inches by one and a half inch. So I like that sizing. I actually feel like the whole size is really nice and comfortable for my fingers. I have fairly large hands, but it just fits beautifully. Um, now, one thing I wanna mention is that you need to check your local laws on any type of knuckle weapons that you buy because the laws are very specific to the state, the country, the city, the municipality that you're buying in, and the laws are also specific as far as what can be sold there, what can be owned, and what can be carried. So you need to check your local laws to make sure that you're okay actually having a pair of these. But I absolutely love these. I think we should test them out. I'd like to see them used for a hammer strike. In fact, I've got this watermelon right here. So let's just, might as well, I mean, it's right here. So for a hammer strike, it just stuck just in perfectly. You can see that big indentation that actually worked really nicely. I mean, that's like perfect. I love that. Now, I'd like to actually punch this to see how it goes, but I don't really want to make a big mess here. But I'm just going to punch it like this and just see how that goes. So, yeah, as you can see, there's these big indents in here. And it didn't actually hurt my knuckles at all. My knuckles actually feel great. So... I think that's pretty awesome. I absolutely love these things. I like the fact that they are so compact. They just fit in my pocket just perfectly. In fact, they can even fit in that little pocket that's underneath the other pocket. So I think that's pretty cool. So I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you about these. They're actually really nice, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. And Amanda, why don't you hand me the next item? There you go. Awesome, thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, all right. So I'm using this wood grain stiletto that I showed off a couple weeks ago. This has become my new box cutter. I absolutely love it. So let's open this up and see what we've got here. Okay. The large bat throwers. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so in my videos previously, you've seen me show off bat throwers in the past. I absolutely love bat throwers because they're so easy to throw. It's very similar to throwing stars where you can learn how to throw them within a few throws. So I absolutely love them. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so this one is the silver bat throwers. And look how big these are. These are a little bit different because these are actually larger bat throwers than our usual ones. So that's a fairly sizable bat thrower. That is actually seven and a half inches wide. So that's pretty, pretty large. Um, they, each bat thrower weighs about two and a half ounces and there's three bat throwers per set. So let's see, okay, then we got the black ones, which the black ones are awesome. I absolutely love the look of that. Now these are a 1065 German surgical steel. Uh, so I think these are gonna hold up really nicely for you. And let's see what this guy is. Okay, cool, cool. I like these too. So this is a titanium finish style, that rainbow look. 
So those look pretty awesome. Let's just hold that up. All right, that's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, let's see, there's not a lot to say about these because I've shown them off so much, but they do actually come with this really nice nylon carrying case that actually has a belt loop in the back. Um, but uh, let's actually try show throwing one of these because I haven't thrown one this size yet, but I have a feeling it's just as easy as the smaller ones. So I'm just gonna take this watermelon I was just punching, throw it up there, and I'll just grab the bat thrower. Okay, grab the silver one. Now when I throw these, I like to kind of throw them like a, like a throwing star, just kind of like that, super easy. So as you can see, one throw sticks really beautifully, easy to throw. I mean, really, you can learn how to throw those within one or two throws, so I love them. Let's go ahead and take that out, put it away, and let's move on to the next item. All right, Amanda, what you got next for me? Here you go. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, the dual fist blade knife. Okay, let's see what this guy looks like. Kind of a cool case. So this is a black nylon sheath with a belt loop. I mean, that's pretty interesting looking. And then, oh wow, <laughs> that is a unique looking knife. I'm glad you showed this one, that's awesome. Okay, look at this thing. That is awesome looking. I really like that. So this is made out of one solid piece. You can see that that's full tang and that is one solid piece of 440C stainless steel, um, which is nice in the, in the respect that it is corrosion resistant. I like that about it. And it's actually got a black finish to it, uh, which makes it look a little more stealthy. It actually gives a good contrast between the wood and the blade. I actually like that a lot. And I don't know what type of wood this is, but I'm going to guess that's pack of wood because that's fairly common for these type of knives. I'm going to guess pack of wood. Um, the total length is approximately seven inches and the top blade is approximately three inches. This blade is approximately three and three eighths inches and it weighs approximately three and a half ounces. Um, so yeah, let's, let's take a look at how we'd use this thing. So I guess first, my first thought is to use it like a crambit, but you've kind of got, you don't have a place up here. You don't have any jimping, you don't have a thumb groove. Um, I couldn't get a lot of control if I was to use it this way. In fact, I'd be worried that my thumb would get sliced by this blade or something. So if I was to use this, I would actually use it like this. You have really good control of it. There's actually a little groove up here that you can put your thumb in. You can get some good control of that. I like that a lot. The blades are actually super sharp. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's actually really, really nice. You can, you probably can't see it on camera, but I just sliced it there, there, there. I mean, that's really nice slice. I mean, look at that. Yeah, I mean, this thing, <laughs> This is a really sweet knife. I actually like this a lot. Very cool. Um, I can't think of anything else to really tell you about it. Let's see. Yeah, nothing else to really tell you about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that away and let's move on to the next one. There you go. Awesome, thank you, Amanda, I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, this is called the Tactical Bill Hook Machete. Interesting. You know, we started carrying a lot more machetes ever since we started the survival section on the website. Uh, so it's kind of fun seeing them. I don't have a ton of familiarity with machetes, so it's always fun for me to see all the new ones. Uh, oh yeah, this is cool. That has a really unique look to it, so I'm glad you grabbed this one, Amanda. This is, okay. All right, so, wow, look at that blade. That is, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so first off, we can see that this is full tang. It's one solid piece of stainless steel, and that's a fairly thick blade too. So we've got, it's actually very sharp there. We've got this saw back on here, which would be nice if we ever had to saw through branches or anything. And then we've got this hook up here, which, uh, it looks like it might be called a pruning hook. So if you were to be like using it to get through reeds or something, you would probably like use that hook to cut through reeds or to pull them away. Um, 
The hook is sharp up top here. It's not overly sharp as it gets down here, but this blade is super sharp. I actually like that a lot. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then it's dull up here, which is interesting to me. I want to see if there's any notes on that. Um, I guess it's kind of dull up there so that when you, if you were to be going through a sugarcane field, you would be able to push through and you wouldn't have to worry about it slicing through the sugarcane, the sugarcane you wouldn't want to slice. So that makes sense as to why that's dull up top. The handle is made out of an ABS, it looks like. Um, and it's got these diamond grips on it, which you can kind of see there. It's got kind of a diamond grip on there, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's super comfortable. I actually like that a lot. It's very comfortable. Um, yeah, I could see what I like about this machete is I have used machetes when I was camping before and you tend to get a lot of blisters. And I think that this machete would provide enough of a good grip and a comfortable grip that you wouldn't get too many blisters. So I like that about it. Uh, looks like it's got a black finish on the blade. It's approximately 19 and a quarter inches long and it weighs approximately one pound, three ounces. The blade is 12 and a half inches. And it comes with this sheath with a, ooh, it's got a shoulder strap on the sheath, that's cool, and a belt hook. So, awesome, awesome. Okay, and I don't think there's anything else to tell you about it, but let's, uh, let's see how it does with this watermelon right here. Oh yeah, that just sliced through really nicely. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all the way through on this thing. I could just pull it off if I wanted to, but I mean, that's pretty sweet. I actually like this a lot. I think it's an awesome machete. It looks cool. It looks post-apocalyptic or something. So I love that about it. But let's go ahead and put that away and move on to the next item. Here is your watermelon box now. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is called the Hand Forged Chinese Pudow. Wow, look at this. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's take a look at the handle first because to me the handle is what sticks out on this thing I like how they've taken the wood and they've kind of burnt it to give it more of like an ancient old styling to it I think that is so cool and then we've got this this nylon wrapping around it to give it a good comfortable grip I like that a lot it's really cool um, and then we've got these tines on here which are interesting you see that a lot on size um, I don't know if that's specific to a Pudau or not so the pudao, for those of you who don't know, was actually a Chinese infantry weapon that was often used to cut the legs of horses during battle. It's actually kind of like a long-handled broadsword. But let's actually take the sheath off and take a look at the blade. So the sheath is made out of an imitation leather, and that looks pretty awesome. I actually like the stitching on it. it makes it look really cool and kind of old styling. I like that. Uh, but the blade, wow, look at that blade. Just take a closer look at that. That's pretty awesome. So it looks like it's got this texture on it that's got like a charcoal style finish that just makes it look so ancient. I just I just love the look of that. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera, but it's just beautiful how that looks. Really, really unique. And then we've got the pommel ring on here that's wrapped up. Um, the blade itself, it's not overly sharp. I would actually, if I were to buy this, I'd actually take this back to a belt sander, grind it up just a little bit to make it a little bit sharper. But, um, and, and what's cool too is you can see that you could actually do that without messing up the finish on the blade. It actually sharpen up really nicely if we wanted to. Um, but honestly, this would be something that I would personally purchase and just hang on my wall, just because it looks so cool, so unique. In a martial arts school, I could see this just drawing the attention of everyone. That is really cool. See, what else do I want to say about it? So the blade itself is made from a 1045 carbon steel. So 1045 carbon steel is not my favorite steel in the world, but for this kind of blade, I think it's perfect. I think it gives it a really good look. It's actually going to be fairly durable. Um, we also have this little hook back here on the spine of the blade, which is pretty cool. I like that. Um, let's see, is there anything else to tell you about it? Well, it weighs about five pounds, three ounces, so it's pretty heavy. And then the overall length is approximately 53 inches. So that's a really good reach on this weapon. I actually like that a lot. Um, I can't think of anything else to really tell you about it. But, um, I mean, I've still got this, this watermelon here, so let's just give that one more whack really quick without hitting the wall. So, yeah, I mean, it's... It's a pretty, pretty nice little sword, so I actually like that a lot. 
But if you have any questions on this weapon or any of the other items I showed off in this video, definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and go to our community page so you can vote for which weapon you like the best. That way I'll know what to show more of in the future. And check out KarateMart.com because we've got all sorts of cool weapons on there. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.